Okay, so in regard to the, the 12 to 15 page paper, what we're looking for you, asking you to do is to select a different geographical area if you're doing an area study, a different geographical area other than the United States in the area of particularly theory, practice, and or policy, and there should be some intermixing. You remember all these are like a DNA chain uh, linked together. So you'll be choosing a different geographical area. If you're doing an area study, it's quite possible also to try attempt in a comparative study, which Kubo and Foss and the, much of that text talks about comparative. And if that's the case, then one could possibly involve the United States. So you will be identifying a topic area. It's, almost, it's a funneling effect. Uh, from the general, I'm interested in Russia or Lesotho in my case. Uh, I would be funneling that down and looking at, uh, again, using the matrix to situate my argument, my specific commentary, my specific main idea about what I'm looking at in terms of Lesotho, which in my case is adult education, community-based work, uh, non-formal education, and the decision-making leadership sort of features of that. So, okay, I've got these different features. Uh, uh, that light up within that matrix and intersect, what I would do is I would establish a thesis statement about that. That tradition, tr the traditional political structure of the village influences decision making in education. And I could pursue that then historically, economically, um, and, uh, and you've just had OB2 and some of the leadership styles you might involve. Um, so. What you're going to be doing then is just not writing a descriptive history of mayonnaise uh, or the history of Western civilization, but you're going to be picking a particular topic. You're going to be shaking it down in a, in a, in a funneling sort of effect um, to a more precise research question that you can manage in 12 to 15 pages. Uh, you'll also be using five resources. Again, so you're not going to be doing a lot of primary research, going out and doing interviews and that sort of thing. It's just five resources. It's a simple paper and you will be delivering that information to the conference. And uh, the key to it has to be, okay, what, what, is there anything fresh is that I can say about non-formal adult education in Lesotho at the, at the, the community level? Is there any, any new questions I can ask? That's sort of the quest. You may not arrive at that in your, in your task, but uh, that would be some of the attempts that you would be working with. In, in this in this short paper. Also, you're trying to drill down in Bloom's taxonomy beyond something that is a descriptive work into something that is interpretive or analytical. Those, those are quests. Those are the challenges. And again, you may not get be able to drill all the way down, but uh, again, it's, uh, that's, that's the attempt. So, if you have questions about this, um, first contact Megan. And uh, David and I are also available to help provide some counsel around this. Also, ah, one final thing is that what we'd like for you to do is to group in groups of three or four folks where you will share information as you, through the semester. You'll be working together in a cluster uh, to be able to share your ideas, share your information, and help one another edit their work so that you can come out with a, f a polished product at the end of this. And again, we'll talk more about that and this will be listed online. So thanks very much and happy hunting.